Hi lovelies, I am back with another video. Hope you guys are doing amazing in mind, body, and spirit. Today I am bringing another message, okay? That's really important to me. It's something that I had to learn through trial and tribulation. Trial and error. Trial and error. <laughs> Um, so it's regarding the importance of never allowing someone to break you, right? What do I mean by this? Um, when you're in a relationship, right, you should always seek to build each other up, right? Obviously at the beginning, you're learning each other's, um, Good things, bad things, right? You're just learning about each other. Now, if there are certain things that you feel this person is lacking, you shouldn't break them to get them to build that or fix that or whatever the case may be, right? It should be more so you showing them how to treat you, right, for one, Two, if something doesn't sit well with you that they're doing, then you need to voice that immediately. So important, right? Um, but also, if you are the one that it's happening to, that they're breaking you down, you need to tell yourself um, that's not okay, right? And find a way to let them know, hey, what you're doing right now, I don't appreciate. I don't know what your motives are, but it's not okay for you to be breaking me down. Because it goes back to that phrase that I'm always saying, that if they can't provide better energy for you than you could provide for yourself, you don't need to be around them. You do not need to be in their presence. You are better off on your own, right? So that's one thing that I wanted to bring up because we get so caught up, right? And oh my God, this person's giving me so much attention and you get lost in that whole honeymoon stage, right? That I don't want you guys to lose track of like, okay, you see and feel all the honeymoon stage um, emotions, right? You're going through those motions that you just allow it you're like oh okay because there's healthy ways of helping someone become a better version of themselves and there's not healthy ways because for one if you feel like there's something that you know doesn't it's not good right for you or them then you need to voice that and say, hey, maybe we should work on this together. The person should not take it upon themselves to say or do breaking someone down to help them be better. Like, what? Things do not work that way, right? I hope I'm making sense because don't make me start busting out my friends over here so you guys can understand what I'm saying. Because I will. Right? So, that was one thing I wanted to cover because um, I experienced something like that. And that's why I'm bringing it up to you because it was terrible for me. Because I didn't even know what was happening. Okay? I failed to ignore the signs because, again, we get caught up in the honeymoon, honeymoon stage that we're like, oh, infatuation, basically. Right? And so it was way too late by the time I realized, right? So much damage was done already that it was too late. Um, so now another thing, okay, I'm going to share something about me. And again, I'm no expert. I'm literally giving you advice from what I've learned firsthand. Because I wouldn't want you to experience something that i've gone through if i can give you a heads up like hey you should make a right over there because that left turn 
is no joke. <laughs> you know? So, that's basically why I come on here. To try to shed light on things that, again, aren't really talked about. You know? Um, and if they are, everybody has a different approach in how they give off advice, right? So, another thing I want to share with you, right? So, me, personally, when I experience negative events in life, okay? I have the tendency to block it out. My memory, recall, will block that out. Now, it's a good thing, but can be a bad thing too, okay? So I'm gonna break that down so you can see that as well. Why it's good is because you don't carry around the hate, the pain, right? No, that's why it's good. But why it's bad is because you are then exposing yourself for that to repeat itself. So this is what I did for myself to ensure that an event will not reoccur again, right? So because I learned that about myself that, hey, I have the tendency to just block out negative events, things that have really hurt me to my core, right? I told myself, so you have options. You could journal it. You could email it to yourself. You could make a video. You could do a voice recording to remind yourself like, oh my God, I really can't allow this individual to hurt me again. Like that's just not an option, right? So that's what I did. I made sure to explain detail per detail of what happened in that event, how I felt in that moment, and what I deserve in the future. And y'all probably think I sound crazy, but it's important to prioritize your mental health because your sanity is extremely important for your day-to-day -day life, right? So for me, the voice memo reminded me, hey, this isn't okay. And don't you ever forget that it happened. Yes, forgive yourself and the person, right? Which I have done. I do. But I would never allow an opportunity for them to hurt me again. Because that wouldn't be fair to me. They could apologize for days and days and days, right? They are forgiven. But at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you. Because you have to be real careful at how you go about allowing people in your life, right? Because you have this huge heart, but not everyone moves the same way you move. So you have to keep that in mind so that you protect yourself from those who don't move like you, right? So they don't necessarily have to be bad people, no. They just have a different way of living, a different way of thinking, right? So, forgive them and move on. That's the best thing you could do for yourself. Right? So, those are the two things that I wanted to cover. See, and it's crazy because I could think back to those moments of someone trying to claim they were building me up. And I was like, for what? I didn't ask you to do that. Why would you take it upon yourself to build me up by breaking me down? It was clear. It was crystal clear that they didn't know how to build somebody up. 
and that's why they went about it by breaking media and i've said this before right my mother is notorious for breaking down her children to build them up and that's another point that i didn't even expect to bring up but it's here it's present and saying hello so let's bring it up let's not okay confuse two things right two things what we are used to from our childhood right that could be negative like the whole breaking people down so verbal abuse right um being neglected um things in that category right do not confuse that with love hear me out hear me out don't get crazy on me yet hold on <laughs> i'm going to explain why or what i'm trying to say right so for instance for me right because of the verbal abuse being a norm in my childhood, I translated that as love because it was from my mom. And yes, she was trying to build me up and she did. Because I'm telling you, between her and my brothers, yes, they helped me create this thick skin, right? So... When it comes to you getting into a relationship, you're going to confuse that with, oh, so if my significant other is doing those things to me, that's love. No, ma'am, or no, sir. No, it's not. This is when you have to reflect and draw a line. Like, okay, yeah, I allowed it from my family. And even if you're used to it, right, doesn't mean it was okay. I know, I know. I know. It's a harsh reality that I had to face, right? Which is another point. Might as well bring it out too, okay? Because of the same... It's like falling under the same category of your norm, right? Growing up. My youngest brother, George. I love him with all my heart, okay? <laughs> Shout out to you because I know eventually you're going to watch this. I love you so much, okay? Um, he and I are the closest in my entire family. We're closest in age, right? And so he and I have created such a bond that we're very transparent with each other, right? And so we can be completely honest. We've been there for each other um, through it all. They can thin, good and bad. We've been there for each other, right? So... He is my comfort zone, right? So what I've realized is that I gravitate towards men that are similar to her, to him, right? Because there's that whole thing of like um, girls being drawn to people who remind them of their dad, right? That whole situation. Obviously, your girl didn't have her father around. So obviously, I had my brothers. So... George is the one that, like, it was just, I was the closest to him in the aspect of, like, he made me so comfortable around him to be myself, right? Um, So, like I said, I gravitated towards people that reminded me of George, right? And it wasn't always a good thing, okay? Because... I failed to acknowledge red flags within those individuals, right? And I've told George this, like, man, why? 
why is it <laughs> that I end up with people who are so similar to you? Because it's, it's bittersweet, honestly. You know, because my brother is who he is. He's a very free-spirited man. Okay, he has lived life to the fullest. He is a Sagittarius. Okay, and so very free-spirited and like they live life to the fullest, like I said, you know. And so that man has been in and out of jail most of his life. I don't mean to air you out, bro. You know I love you. I'm trying to make a point here. And um, so that type of person, right, um, and see, it's, people are all different. Characters, you know, characters are, are all different. And so, um, it's, it's, it's not always a happy ending with individuals who reminded me of my brother because there was bumps on the road and I, again, ignored them. Like, nah, it's cool. And that's what's crazy to me is my brother's absence, right? made me want to have someone near me that made me feel like my brother was close again. I know, I know. <laughs> so, I feel like you have to be very careful with that stuff. You have to um, figure out where to draw the lines because there should be limits, boundaries, um, never allow anyone to disrespect you in any given time. That shit is not an option. Respect should always be present in every move you make, everything you do. So if someone is out of line when it comes to that, then the red flag. Something's not right. Something's not adding up. It's time to reflect and really think what am I doing here if I can't even get respect from this individual that I'm with? But you have to find it within yourself because you could stay. You could allow it for years and years and years. But it's your choice at the end of the day if you should stay or you should go. So if you feel like, oh, you know, I mean, I deserved it. You're going to stay. But if you know deep down and you find that inner strength, courage, love within yourself, for yourself, then you're going to know, hey, I'm not going to stand for this. This is not okay. I deserve better than this. Right? So you have to make moves that will be in your best interest at the end of the day because your peace of mind includes that includes someone loving you respecting you being loyal um with or without your presence being loyal right so all those things play a factor to your sanity but if someone has robbed you of your sanity because of an action or because of something that was said to you what are you still doing there and i feel like that's what pushes me to stand my ground because it takes me a minute don't get me wrong i'm not perfect i'm not perfect your girl is single so what what do I know, right? This is literally just my personal experiences that I have to present to you. But it took me a while to learn on my own, right? Because again, I'm not sharing with people. I just kept to myself when I was living these things. So it took me a minute, but I feel like that's what does it for me, that I'm like, I'm not okay anymore. If I'm all jumpy and like 
staying quiet to avoid um, conflict. That's not okay anymore. You should want to share everything with who you're with. There should never be judgment. There should never be... You should never second guess yourself. If you are with an individual that makes you second guess yourself, something's not right. Something's not adding up and that goes back to your sanity. And your sanity should be pretty high up in your priority checklist. Okay? Because if you have that, then you'll be okay. But you also have to always be able to share your feelings, your thoughts about anything. That's the way it's supposed to be. So that if it's not that way, you need to figure out why. You need to have that discussion with your significant other as to why. Why is it that I don't feel comfortable telling you everything anymore? What's wrong? Something's not adding up. We shouldn't be this way. What switched things? You have to dig, find the root of what caused things to go different. It's important to have solid common grounds too, right? Because sometimes people meet and they're out drinking and partying and that's their vibe at that moment, right? But if that's your only common ground and there's no, th there's not going to be any fruits that come from that because you could only party and drink for so long. That's supposed to be like a bonus. Like something that, oh, cool, you guys have that in common. Cool. But that should not be your solid common ground. I hope that makes sense. So these are the things that I thought of for today's video. And I hope that it can help somebody. Because you deserve the best. But you have to want the best for you. I could sit here for an hour and tell you how much you deserve the best. But if you don't believe it, there's no point. Why? Why do you deserve the best? Because you should feel valued. Your life is valuable. You, you should never feel unappreciated. Because your actions, when you do for others, they should be valued. Because you don't have any obligation to do things for others. And I feel like a lot of the time people lose sight of that. Right? When they become an item. Whether it be boyfriend and girlfriend. Or they're engaged. Or marriage. But I mean, everybody has different views on that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, if you think about it, it's two individuals that chose to come together as one, right? So like my little friends here. Boop. They're two different. But they chose to come together. I was trying to find a magnet. Because <laughs> it has a magnet look. Right? This was a choice they made. So, this one wants to do for this one. So, le nace hacer algo para este. Y este le nace hacer cosas para este. No, no lo tiene que hacer. Pero la gente se acostumbra. Oh, pues me lo hace siempre, como no. Now, if they chose to stop, oh, va a haber pleito. ¿Por qué no me los estás haciendo ya? That's where people lose sight. That's where people begin to feel unappreciated, taken for granted. That's where ill 
emotion comes from. When people are not valued. No one owes you anything. They don't. So the fact that they're choosing to do, whether it be the smallest thing or a huge thing, gratitude, being grateful for every little thing someone does goes a long way. It goes a long way, right? Because we don't have to do it for anybody. Like right now. I didn't have to do this, but I'm choosing to do this to think of you. You may need to hear this at some given time. And I hope that this reaches those who are seeking advice, but are quiet about it, right? They don't want to tell no one. They're suffering in silence. And I don't want you to do that. You deserve to be heard. You deserve to be valued. You deserve to be treated like royalty but you have to find it in yourself to do good for you first before anything because then that way things will fall boop 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 into place things will align once you start having self-love and that is hard in itself. I know. I know. But you can't give up. That's a day-to-day -day thing. You cannot give up. It's really important. Well, I hope this helps at least one person. Just one. And if you have any questions, if you have anything that popped into your head as I was talking please share it with me down below or you can hit me up on my other social medias if you don't want to be public that's perfectly fine your secrets are safe with me I won't tell anyone I just don't want you guys suffering in silence anymore because we're holding so much in and we're carrying it around and we don't need to do that. I'm here to help you heal. Because you deserve that too. That's another huge part of loving yourself. Is taking the time to heal. Whether it be from childhood trauma. Whether it be from trauma that you just experienced. Being in a toxic relationship. You deserve to move past that and not carry it with you everywhere. That weight is heavy. And you deserve to live a life of bliss. Yes, we have our daily stresses, right? Boop, 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 that we deal with. But you don't deserve more added to that. If you can just find it in yourself to heal. Talk about it so you can let it go. I will see you guys on my next one. Excuse me for burping. I probably didn't hear me, but yeah. Um, thank you so much for all the love and support. I appreciate it so much. I'm so excited for all of this. And I will continue to post and I hope... Like I said, it reaches those who need this most. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And have a great day or night whenever you decide to watch this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.